Hello, how are y'all? So, I have finished my journal. The only thing I have left to do is to draw the last two Snoopies right here that I'm going to be doing for postcards. So, that's it, y'all. I have finished my journal. This is the last part right here, and this is part of today's spread. So let's zoom in a little. I took a postcard from Taroko Design that I got, and I cut it into sections. This came off my Lenny Mud, where I got this from. And this came from February's Ipsy Bag and I used my words and I kind of wanted to document I actually wrote a letter to the journal which I rarely rarely do but this was such a big deal for me finishing my journal and I didn't find the word tribe so I put our world friends family cherish the wonderful and beautiful different people that make up our tribe and I need to write our tribe right here so that's not the right one And then I wrote, I am a writer. I am an artist, a reader, a creative, a creator, a woman, a wife, a mother, a daughter, grandmother, sister, aunt, cousin, friend, niece, a business, a light, an inspiration, a motivator, a role model, a coach, a lifelong learner, a work in progress, a teacher, a student, a lover, a maid, a nanny, a chauffeur, a bookkeeper, a handyman or handy woman, a mechanic, a photographer, a jack of all trades, and a master of only a few. I wear a lot of hats, have my hands in a lot of cookie jars, coffee cups, but there are a few that I feel like I excel at or really do well at, a few that I know I would do better at, and being able to chronicle my journey through art and words, it's what keeps me sane. And I messed up, so I wrote, it's what keeps me sane again. As a journaler, a keeper of journals, a memory keeper, I am able to chronicle my life, my hopes and dreams, my daily task, my regular everyday life. Closing the pages of this journal at the end, and there was something I meant to write right there. Closing the pages of this journal at the end, oh wow. Feels so good to finish a journal from start to finish, yes. And I have loved it, absolutely loved it. Thank you, Brie. And then I have hugs and kisses, Burgess. And there we go. And that I will fix later. So I just have the two pages left to do the Snoopy. I'm going to show you my setup. I'm going to be setting this up. So I have one thing coming and I have a traveler's notebook. So this is going to be rearranged a little bit once once what I'm, I'm getting comes in because I have this one. I will end up with three things but you'll see sort of where I'm going where I'm heading this is my be brave and this is my art um, and stuff so art and words so I have this which is the Tarogo design breeze that I cut down that I've been kind of doing bullet journaling in and this is my new notebook from Brie take it out of here so you can actually see it now I don't have these glued down I have them kind of stuck under um, because I'm debating so this is what the journal looks like isn't that gorgeous she sent me she sent me this stuff right here along with and I also got in okay let me backtrack for just a minute this must look familiar so this is the Enigma with the 68 GSM plain Tumbleweed River paper in it And I'm telling you, oh my goodness, is it absolutely gorgeous.
gorgeous to die for paper. Okay, so he sent, I, I got the postcard that came and I tucked it right there. And Bree sent me, where did it go? Bree sent me, this was tied up with this little cute little string and these came in it. And I had this stuff I wanted to add to a journal. So in here, and she sent me a cute little card. And you know how I am about these cards. Burgess, thank you so much for understanding and for always being a great support. Love, Brie. So I think I'm going to put that back here this time. And she sent me a sticker and this, which is really cute. And this and these are to go over two I get two of them to do go over the tab she sent me some little tabs that she created are they cute and then she sent me this little stamp set to-do list top 10 favorites moments today's a little box and the where you write the top 10 and then these pieces of vellum.
Okay. <laughs> now that I have completely lost my mind with the camera and driven myself absolutely crazy, I don't know what is going on, y'all. I have no idea. Everything that could go wrong today with the camera and technology and everything else. Yeah, I didn't cook dinner. I didn't make Mr. Rockstar his dinner lunch thing to take with him to work tonight. Um, I, well, he didn't really expect me to do a whole lot of work today because I have a mop filling him. My mouth is hurting really bad. Now all the trash is going on my floor. I have these three journals. I decided to go ahead and switch things up because I was trying to get things set up. So I'm going to show you this hasn't really changed. I have the bullet journal stuff, the collection stuff. This is going to be my Omni journal. My daily chronicle my life kind of journal. I really like, let's see if we can zoom in here. I really like how this turned out. I really like how this turned out. And I really like how this turned out. I really like how this turned out. So I've got to put this back in here. I'll put it right there. Um, I need to, I haven't done much of that. <laughs> um, I wrote it down on a post-it note and I need to fill it in. So I did do this, but I have not yet um, colored it in because I ended up going over with some of the ink. My mouth hurts really bad, y'all. And I need to put a tip in right here and talk about the damn camera issues. I think I, I think I like how it turned out. I'm going to color this in and um, paint this right here, uh, probably with the zigs. And I'm going to do some stuff. So I really, really love this journal. I know you didn't hear it in my voice because it did all of the squealing over things like this, y'all. Is this, is this not gorgeous? I mean, hello. <laughs> you know, um, I'm just in awe. In awe. Um, I told her she could mix up. She asked me if I had like any preferences and I told her I liked color, I like nature, I like the flowers, I like maps, I like all kinds of stuff. So I really like what she did with it really like what she did with it. I love, love, love the journal. Um, sorry for the glare. So this is where I'm at right now. So I'm going to play in that. So what I've also done is in this until I figure out the rest of what I'm going to do. Um, because I am hopefully, hopefully Cross your fingers, y'all. I've been talking to Steve about the regular B6 Enigma because I like, I, I'm okay with the Stology for writing and for idea dumps and for projects and doing some mind mapping and, you know, stuff like that. I do a lot of my brain dump idea kind of stuff and this. So I put this in here by itself. Now what I didn't show and you haven't seen yet it's gonna be like the longest video and I really like this I took this off of a notebook Jen sent me I switched this around to here I have another bookmark but I'm not gonna put it up use it until I have um, a, the other journal to go in there 
So in this, which is the Janelli fish I cut down, and the footage for that just kind of either, I don't know what happened to it. My cameras have been acting up, so I think this one needs a new battery. So I still have this. It's getting time because I'm going to be doing new supplies for, for March. So I will do a review of what my favorite supplies were like I did here and then do another collage bit of what I'm going to be using for March. And then this came from Taroko Design and it is a B6 insert. And I put it in this one and I probably need to switch this around. And the insert is actually stapled. This is just a little insert. So, and this is my sketchbook where I do urban sketching and I'm going on an artist date tomorrow, come hell or high water, I'm going on an artist date. So this doesn't have lines. This is the 68 GSM Tomoe River paper, I believe. Feels more like the 52, and the one Brie made feels more like the 68. So this might be the 52, but it doesn't really matter. I like both of them. So I have that set up. I've changed a few things around to fit what I'm doing. So that while I'm out, if I'm urban sketching and I want to kind of do a little thumbnail of what I'm doing first, take a picture do something like that I can do that in this insert and do that I'm gonna be using my Fuji film instant camera a lot more I'm actually probably gonna take that with me um, because I don't have because I don't have a camera um, I mean I don't I don't have a an instant printer thing like the selfies not really that portable y'all I'm just my mouth hurts so bad uh, but I'm so excited about this I'm going to do a what's in my bag, but I probably will do that tomorrow right before I leave to go on the urban sketch date um, and before I leave to go to the grocery store because I'm going to go my urban sketch date and then I'm going to go to the grocery store. Mr. Rockstar is working nights right now. All right, where'd my other shark go? I've messed around with everything and now I don't, here it is. I messed around with everything and now I don't know where everything is and I need to clean up my space <laughs> it's a mess I decided to use the sharks in here and we'll keep up with where my daily pages with the pink shark and use the blue shark for the monthly stuff so I don't know what I'm doing um, and the camera is acting an ass I want another Janelle fish. I really like this one though for the what I'm going to be using it for. I'm just I, <laughs> I think I will like this one more once it gets a little bit more rugged. Yeah, I think that's the thing is I've been thinking about getting the Tim Holtz thing with the ink, the coffee stain thing, and doing that on here, y'all. Seriously, seriously thinking about doing that on this. It will be more me if I do that. It will definitely be more me and I'm seriously thinking about it if I could get away with it and I knew it would turn out the way I wanted it I would just sit my coffee cup and the ring put 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 some ink on the edge of it like a coffee ring I would do it that way but I'm afraid that I will mess it up if I do it that way yeah so I've narrowed it down to this stuff and then I'm actually just going to be using the Hobonichi A5 after a while, I'm probably not going to be using so much. I know next year I probably won't. The Hobonichi is actually going to be more for work and projects and regular planning. And um, I, after a while, um, if I can... Once I get rid of this, um, if I can get a B6 Enigma, the Enigma will probably go in here 
or I will switch and put this insert with the art supplies in here with this and then put the Enigma in here. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, I don't like doing my morning pages and my evening pages and my brain dumps and my thoughts and different things like that. Those kind of things, I don't like doing them in my daily journal because I, my daily journal is for me, but it's also as a, a keepsake, a memory keeper. And I don't mind doing a little bit of this so people will see what I'm doing. But all the morning pages and those inner deep thoughts and the things I need to vent with and things like that, I like them in a separate journal. Sometimes when I vent and I really want to vent and then or when I'm figuring things out and it can be messy and it could be whatever I want you know um, when I'm planning out I, videos um, this one doesn't have to be neat when I finish this journal up and I'm going to finish it up first I'm gonna actually start doing my morning pages and this and the evening pages and the brain dumps and all of that kind of stuff it's all gonna go in here together um, I'm not gonna keep a separate journal for all of that anymore but that way I can use this one up and I'll be able to tell what's what and um, I'm cool with that but I don't like putting my morning pages or things like that in this because this is sort of a keepsake and I could actually these kind of things could except for maybe you know even this one um, these kind of things can be thrown away I wouldn't throw this away I'd end up taking this out and putting it in a different journal but this kind of stuff where I'm just doing brain dumps, I mean, I would probably pull that out and paste it in a journal. But I tend to, when it's something I don't want to mess up, I tend to not do anything on the back page or do something where it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I don't, there's not much in here I'd actually keep. And like I said, I could technically take these pages out and paste them paste them in, a, in my journal if I wanted to so I'm okay with that I'm okay with that so yeah I do a lot of personal notes a lot of project outlines and um, all different notes from books and pen tests where my pens want to act a fool um, you know different things like that so I don't like mixing them so yeah I'm seriously thinking about the ink thing for this yeah seriously thinking about it I am so sorry. I'm, I know I'm all over the place, but not having taken the pain medicine today has made a big difference and everything going wrong. I'm going to charge the battery in my fancy camera and I'm going to charge the battery in this camera and then I'm probably going to need to get new memory cards and I might need to get a new battery for this Panasonic Lumix. Bye y'all. Thanks for watching. I hope that you have a great one. Thanks.